I'm not going to pretend that finishing a hardcore run of Minecraft is an impressive feat. If anything, everyone and their mother at this point has already done it, as proven by a simple search onto YouTube for the words Minecraft Hardcore. That said, I wanted to be the one to accomplish it, and I've failed quite a few times, mostly due to completely unpredictable creepers, or falling from a little too high, or being shot by a skeleton because I didn't have a shield. Despite my previous attempts, my first successful run was actually pretty straightforward. A lot more straightforward and a lot quicker than all the other previous attempts that I had made. But simply, I spun in the forest biome, right next to a river. I chopped down a tree to make the basic tools, and more importantly, to make myself a boat. Because my idea at the time was, I'm going to follow this river until I find an ocean, and once I do find an ocean, I'm going to start hunting for treasure maps and treasure chests so I can get the diamonds that I need in order to make a diamond pickaxe to mine the obsidian to build the nether portal frame. Granted, you don't actually need to do this. There is the dirt and bucket method, but this is the way I did it. That's what I had in mind at the time. On the way to this ocean, I did find a ruined nether portal. So I ended up using the obsidian from that to make my own nether portal. And I also found a village that I used as a little safe haven to store whatever resources that I found and to prepare myself for the final fight against the Ender Dragon. Several trips back and forth into the ocean later, I eventually did have the diamonds that I needed, as well as the iron necessary to make a full set of iron armor, which I would use to fight the Ender Dragon. I made myself a pickaxe, dug out the obsidian from the ruined nether portal that I had found earlier, and then hopped myself into the nether. Fortune was really on my side for this run. I spawned right next to a warp forest, meaning I didn't have to walk around looking for a warp forest in order to farm for ender pearls. I wasn't going to farm for ender pearls just yet though. I wanted to find the nether fortress first. And... I learned about how nether fortress generation works in Minecraft. I'll just leave a little image up in the screen for you to see. It's basically green areas is where it can spawn, red areas is where it cannot. You have the coordinates, you have the lines, and there you go. A fortress can generate in any of those green areas in this entire grid. I eventually did find the another fortress that I was looking for, and by finding it, I have officially reached the furthest I've ever gone in a single run of Minecraft. This is literally the furthest I've ever gone. Whenever I tried to farm for blaze rods in the past, I always ended up dying a horrible, miserable way. Because I'm a bit of a cowardly pansy, I figured that the best way to farm for blaze rods would be to find one of the spawners and then encapsulate myself in dirt, and then farm the blaze rods in relative safety. I did get hit a couple of times, and whenever I did, I would just back away, wait for the fires to go out, and then eat to heal myself, and then go back to farming for the blaze rods. Once I had them, I went back to the warp forest to farm for the ender pearls. The way that I farmed the ender pearls was pretty straightforward as well. Build two safe spots, I would stay in one safe spot, look at every enderman that popped in sight to lure him into the safe spot, and then just kill them for the ender pearls. And once there were no more endermen in sight, I would move to the second safe spot to do the exact same thing. And I kept going back and forth between these two safe spots until I eventually did have the ender pearls that I needed. I should also mention that whilst I was doing this, on my first attempt at building a safe spot, I almost died. Because I completely miscalculated the safe spot that I was building. I have the eyes of ender. It was time to make sure that I had everything that I needed and hunt for the stronghold. And... There was nothing there. I followed the Eye of Ender and there was nothing there. Turns out that this is something that can actually happen. I did not know. Sometimes strongholds are just not there for some reason. And when this happens, what you have to do is you have to move away at least 2,000 squares so that the Eye of Ender can start focusing on a different stronghold. Hopefully one that's actually there. So once I figured out that that's what was happening, I went back to the village to once again check if I had everything necessary for the Ender Dragon fight, and then went to hunt for the second stronghold. 
which I eventually did find, and it was a real stronghold this time. I also found the end portal frame, popped in the eyes of Ender, took a last glance in my inventory just to make sure that I was ready. By the way, my inventory consisted of a few stacks of netherrack, some arrows, a couple of buckets of water, a lot of food, and a set of iron armor, and that was it. I completely cheesed the Ender Dragon fight. If the point of the challenge is to beat the challenge, I'm going to do I'm going to do what I deem necessary and easier and more convenient to do so. And to me, what was convenient was to build was to go all the way to height 150, and then head on to the very center of the island where the the portal thing is, you know, where the Ender Dragon egg usually ends up on after you kill the dragon. You know, the little spot where the dragon usually perches. Yeah. Uh, start a waterfall directly above that place and what happens is the dragon doesn't know what to do when surrounded by water so it just gets stuck and starts climbing at the waterfall and isn't even capable of attacking you apparently so once that happened I just shot whatever arrows I had at the dragon and killed it that way and that's how I've defeated hardcore mode for the very first time in my life it was pretty straightforward it was a lot quicker than I was expecting it to be just a little under seven hours which okay not exactly the under a minute record times that you see on minecraft speedruns but you know i did it that's what that's what i wanted to do that's what i got to do i accomplished this i'm happy time to move on